Hey there, friends. Welcome back to some more Grey Matter. When we last left off, we were Dr. Styles yet again. And we found out that Sam is a fake. And then we also found out she was in foster care, and then things happened to her parents. And then, that's a tank lid. That doesn't look like a tank. It doesn't have treads. Okay, anyway. Then we also kind of noticed that Angela looks like a l not as down with the clowns as everybody else is. I'm not down with clowns either. But anyway, she seemed pretty skittish and and not normal. Basically, she looks like she's kind of guilty of things. But we don't know where Sam is to talk to her. And then also, oh yeah, also people threw like discuses through a building and almost killed people and stuff, you know, whatever. That's, you know. On with the rest of the game! So now we're trying to figure out where Sam went, because if we look at our points, we have everything filled up except the bonus, which is whatever. And then, where is she now? Which I'm guessing would be Sam. And the only other place we can go is St. Edmund's Hall, so let's just go there and see if we can find anything. Loading. Oh, the group! The group! Does anyone know where Samantha is? No. We've been looking for her. Tell them, Dr. Styles. What happened at the cafeteria cannot have anything to do with us. I... I don't know. Listen, do any of you know anything at all about Samantha? I already told you, Dr. Styles. She's not a student. Angela's been saying that. But it can't be true, can it? What kind of a person would make up something like that? A sneaky one. Come to think of it, she's too devious to be in anything but the law program. And if she were in it, I'd know. Do any of you have any background on Sam? Know where she came from? Did any of you know her before the experiment? No, but we did not know each other either. That doesn't mean we're not students here. She stole my ID. I'll kill the wench. Oh, but don't you see? Sam could be dangerous. If she could lie about this, who knows what else she might be capable of? There is that magic of hers. I don't think it's right to use tricks on people when they don't even know you're a magician. What's this? Sam a magician? You mean a stage magician? With cards and... rabbits? Yeah, she's good, too. She hangs out at the Black Wand, the magic shop on St. Aldate's. All right, listen, don't, don't talk to anyone about the experiment. Not until I've got back in touch. I've got to go. Okay. <laughs> so, Angela's still acting like, I told yes. you. Oh, there's a phone call. This is Rose Hall from the Virginia Department of Foster Care. Is this Dr. David Stiles? Yes, but I've already spoken to someone there. That was my assistant, and you left her in tears. You called about Samantha Everett? Listen, I've been Sam's caseworker for 10 years. Despite what the asshole psychiatrist wrote, Sam is not a bad kid. She lived with five families in as many years, so yes, yeah, she's a little messed up. But she's smart and exceptionally gifted. I tried to talk her into college, but Sam had other ideas. I've gotten postcards from her from all over the world. It takes a lot of guts to strike out on your own like that. Is Sam in some kind of trouble? I'm afraid she is. Will you tell me about it? Not until I have all the facts. But I appreciate the phone call. I do have one more question. Is Sam a magician? Is she? Quite an amazing one. I fully expect to see her name in life someday. Or at least her stage name, Lady Byron. I see. You've been very helpful. Thank you, Miss Hall. I'll be in touch. <laughs> but he doesn't apologize for the assistant. He's like, he left my assistant in tears. It's like, uh, I give no fucks that I made your assistant cry like a little baby. So, as I was saying, Angela is coming off of like, oh, she's the she's so bad. She wasn't, she isn't in this. She's so evil. She had to do it. So, something's going down. We don't know what. Now we can go back to the Oxford Town Center. It's like we're starting the first episode all over again. Or a second. Whatever. I don't know. It's been a while. Don't judge me. I judge you. And I'm guessing I know where we're going. 
we are gonna go to the sex den. Actually, no, it's just the black wand. Which should that could be another name for it, the sex den, because it just sounds like a porn place. I can't, you know. They're closed. Oh, they're closed. Well then, uh. Oh. Well, if they're closed, what the hell do I do? Just another shop. Can you knock on the door? Oh. Oh, there's a poster. Poster! What do you say, poster? What? Lady Byron, command performance tonight, Deedless Club London. Well, now I know where to find Miss Everett. Unlucky for her. How did... How did... Why do they have a poster up? Why can I take it? Directory inquiries? How may I be of assistance? I need an address for the Deedless Club, London. I'm terribly sorry, but that number is ex-directory. Hmm. Thank you. London clubs can be so ridiculously secretive. I need someone who could pull a private address. And I think I know who to ask. Na 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 that one dude. Who is that one guy in here? We need to go talk to him again probably. You know, we've had to backtrack here like four times. Just saying. Uh, did I go to the wrong place? Oh no, it's over here. Forgot. <laughs> I'm so used to not remembering, or not remembering, not seeing that side thing. Ha ha! But I have made it. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. We need to talk. We need a favor. I, You know I'm your favorite friend. Favor and all that. Detective. I need some information. Do you know of a place called the Deedalus Club in London? What for? I need the address. It's rather critical. Why don't you call Bloody Directory Inquiries? I tried Bloody Directory Inquiries. They don't have it. I thought the police might have heard of it. Uh, hang on. Not like I'm accomplishing a frigging thing here anyway. You're right. It's X directory Some kind of club. Here's the address. Thanks. I'm grateful. Just tell me if you hear anything, right? Of course. We are now a crime-fighting duo! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, no. I can't... Can I go there? That's in London! I can still go to here. How many points do I have? No, I need to check how many points I have now. Because I have... Ah, I found out where she is. Just a bonus. I don't care about the bonuses. I don't care, man! Let's go to the Deadless Club. And be all fancy, schwancy. And where is it? <laughs> There's the, egg, the coffee shop and the public bar. Can I go into either one or can I just... Let's go into the coffee shop. Why not? I am now it's interested. Oh wait, that can't be the private club I'm looking for. Oh, like, why do you give me the option to go inside? It makes no sense. What, David? Th thank you, David. Uh, good lord. Knock. Just go. <laughs> Housekeeping. You want me fluff pillow? No, no. There's a gentleman I've never seen before in the door. Whoa. I came to see the show. Do you have an invitation? A token, perhaps? I have money. That's generally considered token enough for entertainment. Ah, but this is a private club, sir. I'm afraid you'll need more than that. Oh, um... Uh... This? I'm here to see Lady Byron perform. 
She's a friend of mine. Ah, yes, I do see it now. How silly of me. Please, by all means, come in. How do you see it? Just because, are you saying Dr. because he's wearing Stein. a... Oh. Nice evening. Yes. Supposed to be a good show tonight. Or an interesting one at any rate. Lady Byron? The club's a buzz. Word is she's got a game going on up at Oxford. Quite a good one, too. Game? What kind of game? A grand game. It would have to be good for the club to give someone like her membership. Street performer, you know. American. But from what I've heard, it might be at that. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, for our first act this evening, something fresh, something new in London town. This young magician has never before graced our stage, so prepare to be amazed, prepare to be enthralled and delighted by Lady Byron. Here now, Phoebus. Hold, hold, come. That was it. David, I mean, Dr. Stiles. You're very good. But unfortunately, the game you orchestrated will not work out as planned. What? Look, maybe I should have told you about... about my magic. But what's happening to you is not my game. I mean, how did you even... how did you... Find out? Not relevant. I know, and it's over. I can see how this looks, but I know who's pulling the game on you. I proved it today. If you just... Really? And you're a student at St. Edmunds, and an English Lit major. I... I have to admit, you were brilliant. Even hunting down my mother's necklace, just to make sure you got taken on. The funny thing is, you went to all that trouble, and there really is something going on at Dreadhill. And you with your ridiculous pranks at the track and pool. Ridiculous? Do you even know what would be involved? Those illusions were way beyond me. Stop lying, Sam. I called that foster care office, you know, found out something real about you at any rate. I could almost feel sorry for you if you hadn't tried to ruin my life. As for today, you're lucky no one was killed in that cafeteria. Did it not occur to you that someone could get hurt? Or were you too blinded by your big debut? I don't even know what you're talking about. All of your potential, and you throw it away to get into a damn magic club. I know you won't believe anything I say, but all I ever wanted to do was help you. Help me? Why would you? I want you cleared out of Dreadhill by morning. If you're gone, I might not turn you into the police. I never want to see your face again. Did he overreact much? I think so. I'm a, I'm a smart teacher person and a scientist and I'm not gonna listen to anything you have to say. So, yeah, fuck you. No one cares. Ugh, what a douche. So we have machines all over the place and Sam who looks different. I have to admit, however classy this may be, it's pretty damn bizarre. The club could come across as a cult or something from the outside. We've got much okay, let's look at the machines. Lots of old game machines in here. Very Daedalus Club. I wish I had time to try them. They look beautiful. Wow, there's a lot of things to look at. Okay. <laughs> Daedalus. He was Icarus's father, 
and architect of the maze where Minus locked the Minotaur. No wonder the club took him as their inspiration. Hats, wands, cards. I'm truly standing in a temple of magic. A temple of magic today. Oh, there's the Zoltan machine. Are you going to make me big? I want to be big. Lots of old game machines in here. Oh. Can I leave? Might as well check and see if I can leave. Oh, there's tons of people. Oh. Wait, can I only talk to the bartender? No, I've got to talk to patron A, patron B, and something tells me that there's going to be a lot more to this place. So let's see Sam's new getup. It's very magician-y with gothiness -ness -ness. Yeah, okay, so that's her outfit. Yay! Alright, let's talk to the bartender. We need a drink after that. Be like, ah, oh, I need a drink. Oh, there's two things. Someone mentioned an event that happened in Oxford today. You wouldn't happen to know about it, would you? Our guests have been talking about it all night, but I've been too busy to get the particulars. Care to fill me in? Me? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I see. My face doesn't look funny, does it? I am Robin, waiting for Batman. Do you know Mephistopheles? I'm looking for him. The last time he was in here was before the show. Oh, thanks. So let's talk to some Patreonids. Let's we'll talk to you first, lady. Hello. Do you know what happened at Oxford? Have you heard anything about what happened in Oxford today? Did we? Yes, I think we did. Was that the UFO ah! sighting? No, no, that was in Scotland. They evacuated the school, didn't they? <laughs> Terrorist threat? That was in London. Well then, I don't know. Okay, thanks. Do you know Mephistopheles? Have you seen him? The magician. He's performed here. Amazing fellow. Did you see him tonight? No. It was some woman in a mask. Quite good. Right. Thank you. <laughs> she did just one trick, like some little skull thing and floating around that exploded in the birds, and then she was like, ah! Done. Leaving. Famous magicians, I guess. Although I never heard of them. Famous magicians. Um, so is that it? Although I, I knew there was going to be more. <sighs> That's not creepy. At all. It's kind of creepy. Lady fair with raven hair. Getting some air between shows. I don't have another show tonight. Oh, but you do. What does that mean? I mean... Merely a paw. Did something happen at Oxford today? Did something happen at Oxford today? <laughs> so coy, so waifishly naive. The committee doesn't like blood, you know. It wasn't me. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Do you know Mephistopheles? Does the flower know rain? Does the horizon know the setting sun? I'll take that as a yes. Do you know where I can find him? The club is two. Like the faces of Janus. Here is one for the public eye. There is another only for the wise. Which are you? You mean there's a private part of the club? <laughs> Give the lady a cigar. <laughs> the first time he started talking like the little things, punch him in the face and just be like, okay, I'll ask somebody else. It's like the flowers of the raid and this horizon and the kick in the balls. Be like, no! No! I really need to see Mephistopheles. Could you get him? No. Could you? How? You said he was in a private part of the club. Privilege can be borrowed for a night or two, if you pass the test. Oh, God. Another game? But I need to speak with Mephistopheles now. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Okay, where do I find the game to get into the private section of the club? Where does everyone go? 
below, below, to be tested by the tide. Don't let it hurt your pride, if you fail. Yeah, thanks so much. So, okay, this dude's a dick. Because he's an ass. Because he's a butthead. There's a lot of other... Lady where are you Violet going? lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Yeah, that's so helpful. Alright, so I'm guessing that this has something to do with the coffee shop. Can I actually go anywhere else? No, I didn't think so. And what's the point system? Whoa, what? Well, this is going to be interesting. <coughs> Can't go in there, so I'm guessing everything's done. We're going to have to go all the way back into the other part of the building. Yay. So someone had it set up so it looked like Sam was doing all... Uh, what are you... So Sam was doing all the things. Either that or Dr. Styles is just a moron, which I'm particularly just going with that he's more of a moron than anything else. And was sitting there blaming Sam for anything without even letting her... Yeah, uh, yes, she lied. And yes, she... Like, wasn't being straight up with him at all the whole time, really. But you still want to hear her side there. of the... Oh. But I'm finished, and I don't have time to see the other shows. Okay, well then what am I doing? Um. Oh, there's one machine that's different than the others. Um. He should have at least let, heard her side of the story. I mean... Lots she, of old game machines in here. Very Daedalus Club. I wish I had time. Yeah, no, but... Okay. Do I need to look at this side of the machines? Do I, do I need to do that too? I don't... Lots of old game machines in here. Yeah, okay. Um... I still have a lantern. Don't know what that's for. Maybe that's some of the only stuff I have. But she wasn't being dishonest when she was giving him the information, so why would he... So all of a sudden be like, no, you're not trustworthy. What the, was that? Did I miss something already? I was, was listening to Bozo the Doofus Clown. Did I miss something that, that he said? I'm not too sure. Or unless there's something else I can look at. We got a bartender. New, oh, there's a newspaper. No, no, I can't. I didn't even notice that. Like, oh my god. Let's have it hidden behind a tree, because this is also a little finder game. Oh no, I don't understand. Why did it happen in the dining hall? How did they find out about the discus? Oh my god. Whatever is going on? Oh, I can't. The I don't want to look at him. Can I talk to this dude now? Again? No. This guy's a dumbass. Is she gonna say he's a dumbass? It looks like a fortune telling machine to me. One of these old devices where a coin grants you a piece of mechanical wisdom. So am I supposed to give no, I don't have any coins, so I can't give him anything. Ah Nope. Can't give him the matchbook. I thought maybe like the matchbook would be considered like a coin or something. Anyway, so I have no clue what I'm doing now. Wait, now I can look at that. Oh, you've got to be crapping me. You want to go below? There's two devil. Wait, that's not. I thought that's not a devil. That's a creepy thing and an angel. I say devil because look, that's our devil thing. And I can mess with horns. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oops. <laughs> Let's see. That one. Oh, it's the dude! No! Let's see, what's this one spin? Oh, uh, okay. I'm guessing since it's saying, do you want to go down below? I want to go to hell. Uh, 
Oh, I have to get it to. Oh, I have to get it to stop. Oh, this is lame. Come on. So, how far did it go? I'll just click it there. Nope. Uh. Okay, I know. I kind of got an idea of where I need to click now. Come on. And then this one. Click right up here. I did it. Yay! I'm hey, smirked. What the hell? Did that just open up like a trap? Yes, it did. Oh my Ugh. god, the pinky purple. Jeez, look at this place. The pinky purple. We got information box. What do we have in here? Oh my god, there's so many exits. So many things. Hey Zoltan, what are you doing, buddy? You look creepy as hell, sir. These machines are antiques. They're supposed to reveal the truth for a price. Do I give you something? Was that all I needed to do was just look? Alright, let's look at this picture. The picture in the ghetto. Their hands are positioned oddly. Like they should be holding something. Um, possibly cards? No. So, yeah, so they're, they're supposedly holding Their hands something. are positioned yes, I know, their hands are positioned on Whatever. G whatever. Jesus. Alright, let's look in the showcase. Some famous magician's props. Impressive collection. Anything else I can look at? No, I don't want to go through any of the exits yet. Because something Some tells me... Piano. Or a harpsichord, maybe. Très romantique. Très romantique. Because if you remember... Now I... Oh, what's this? No, they are statues. They are statuettes. What's this say? The game of life? It's another Daedalus Club game. I suppose I'm going to have to solve it to get around this basement. Great. It looks like I have to win keys from three queens. To see what is hidden in plain sight, use the light. What light? The lights are already on down here. What? I'm guessing those well, are for without the three the keys, keys. I won't be able to go in there. I need to find So, them. life is a maze. Endless misdirection. Like, the, like a master riddler spinning a tail. To win the game, you must first learn to see what is hidden from plain sight. Use the light, then ask the bearer of life. The queens win by trial. The win by trial. Win by trial key. Win by trial keys from three. Does that say buy or is that supposed to be? It looks like buy. Win by trial keys from three and give to the fourth. And you will be born up. To your reward. So we need to turn off the light somehow and then with stuff. Is there a light? Let's look at this information box. Do 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 do. So there's a box. Wow. Cherche la femme. Cherche la femme. Or whatever. I spent a little time in Paris. I think it means. Look for the woman. Okay. Mm, what else do I have to look at? Come on. Oh my god, it takes forever to load up all the words. There. So there's a mask. And the harpsichords. Let's look at the mask. Wow. I've seen some of these Venetian masks before, but that one's a real beauty. 
some sort of piano. Or a harpsichord, maybe. Très romantique. I think I've already seen look at that. I'm confused. So something tells me we're in some sort of a maze and that we should probably not just going willy nilly through the doors, but I need to figure out how to turn off the light. So That's the slide I came down. But there's no way I can climb back upstairs like that. The trap door's closed. Well, let's go through Let's go through this door. I don't know. Whoa, this isn't weird. What the hell? They each look like they should be holding something. There's gotta be a trick here, but I don't see any buttons or anything. But he's holding his own hand like it came off, and he's like, No! Not Georgie! My hand's name is Georgie! Or maybe they're supposed to be holding the shrunken heads. Oh, there's a button! Be courageous. Nothing could really harm you, could it? So... If nothing could really harm me, let's look at the shrunken heads. Gross! Those look like shrunken heads. Appetizing. You're weird, Sam. So then there's a fish head. Then there's bunnies. Ooh, creepy looking fish. It has a beak. It must be a freak of nature. Kind of like me. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You're trapped in a maze! Ooh, look at those bunnies. They're almost as cute as Houdini. You are... You're so f stupid. Look at the bunny. It's a statue. Looks kind of like Atlas or something. Some kind of hunting deity. I think it's Artemis. Okay, so how do I f do the puzzle? I still don't want to start going willy-nilly through all the doors. Because I have not saved, and that would be a terrible thing to do. Um, but, I'm sorry, did I miss anything else? Because all I can do is look at things. Alright, let me see if this goes back to where I was. Because it looked like I came through on that door. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, there was a button on that other Zoltan machine. Maybe there's one here, too. But I didn't see it. Uh, no. There's no button. These machines are... Okay. Let's check out this other room, then. I don't... I don't know. That... Did that literally just send me back through this room? Oh, it's sending me out through random doors. It's a Scooby-Doo thing. Okay, come on. Scooby, Gooby, Samantha, where are you? You're going through the wrong doors. Now, something tells me I need to finish this door first. Or I need to go through this door, which leads to another door. I don't know. I am so confused. No, oh. Can I look at what's in that shelf? No. I can just go through random exits. Alright, I'm just gonna go start going through random exits. I just, I don't know what to do. Hey, that door's wrong. How about this door? <laughs> that door's wrong. How about this door? Whoa! This place is crazy. And we got another painting. Wait, there's a slide here, too. They look like they should all be holding something. They seem to be pointing at something, but I don't see what. Maybe they're pointing at the frickin' roof? Well, I don't want to 
gonna go through the exit. F, I have to steal these. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. After my sneezing. And so, okay, so the door. Oh, so, so the mirrors are exits. I see. What else can I look at then? Oh, there, oh, there is a Zoltan machine. It's right there. Um, look at Mr. Zoltan. <laughs> wow, he he has chess on the brain. <laughs> Another Zoltan. Is there a button for this one? So I can like Another Zolt No. Okay. And then okay. Oh, there's a big switch. Ugh. The table is inscribed. Don't push me. Sounds suspiciously like a challenge. So push it. Whoa, awesome. Talk about elaborate special effects. So is it pointing to that door? Oh, there's no, oh, there's things on the door. So we have six, ace, five, something, queen, something, 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 one. Okay. So I wonder if the Zoltan machine now shows something. Given the size of this stone, it has to be a fake. Or does it? Oh, God! I'm starting to talk like Mephistopheles. All right, let's see if the Zoltan machine shows something different now. Another Zoltan. No, I thought maybe there'd be something in the ball or something. So, I, I'm not too sure exactly what it's asked, what, it, what it's asking us to do. I mean, okay, maybe, maybe now the painting. has something to show. Ah! Left then right, alternating wins the game. Choose your choose the exit that shows your prize furthest away. Always go left, always go right. Oh, and then the, the one says, L find the woman. She's got a card in her Left, boob. then right. Alternating wins the game. Choose the exit that shows your prize furthest away. Always go left. Always go right. Four contradictory instructions. They sound like directions for something. Well, I think when it says, look for the woman, they're talking about her, so... Choose the exit that shows your prize furthest away. That would be the Queen of Diamonds door. So let's just go ahead and go through there. Hopefully I got it right. Uh-oh. This is going to be interesting. Uh, so... Okay, so it says first go left, then go right. So let's go left. Then go right. Then alternate, so now I go right and then left. No. Okay. I was just trying to follow the directions. Can I go back? Oh boy. Start clicking. I'm clicking now. You can't stop me. Well, this is stupid. Um, 
Is that it? Is that the only two things that are in here? Is exit and exit? Right. Is there something over here to the side? No, the one time I want something to the side, it's not there. Okay, well... Walk towards the door. Maybe you can go through the mirror. No, you can't. Maybe if I walk towards this way, it'll look like I'm going through a door, therefore I will magically go through a door. Door! No, okay. First go left, then go right, and then I'm going to alternate and then go right and then left, and then go left, right, oh wait, no, the exit is here. Ha, ah, I'm stupid. There it is. <laughs> I am smurred. Okay, so... Left, then right, alternating wins the game. Choose the exit that shows your prize furthest away. Always go left, always go right. So, that's just clues for something. That's just clues for something. And then we have doors. Just regular doors. Oh, what's in the showcase? Some famous magician's props. They're collectibles. You're a collectible. Alrighty. Well, friends, I think we will figure this out next time on Grey Matter. Because I'm thoroughly confused. And wait, is she actually is she wearing a glove on one hand? Did I just now notice that she's wearing a glove on one hand, or does that just look like... No, she is. I just now noticed that. She's the Michael Jackson of the magician world. Hee <laughs> hee. Until next time, friends. Which, it seems like we're getting pretty close to the end, kind of. I think. I'm not too sure, but this seems like since we're going to, like, the big head place where we're going to get answers, it seems like, or something. I don't know. I, okay, I know that there's eight chapters. This is chapter eight, therefore this is the last chapter. So I think we're getting close to the end of the game. So, till then, friends, take care, and as always, have a good one. And if you get stuck in a room where people are trying to tell you what to do, but you don't know what you're trying to do, it's okay. We will be with you. Together.